Well, happening today, a high-stakes hearing that could impact the balance of power on Capitol Hill moving forward. Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh and a woman accusing him of sexual assault will testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. CBS 2's Sophia Dumani breaks down what's expected during today's proceedings. Well, the Senate Judiciary Committee will hear two landmark testimonies today. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh following multiple accusations of sexual misconduct and Christine Ford, one of those accusers. Now, it's a day that could decide the fate of the Supreme Court nominee. Ford is the first of three women to come forward with sexual misconduct allegations against Kavanaugh. She claims he pinned her down in a bed and attempted to remove her clothes at a party during the early 1980s. Kavanaugh has denied those claims, but he's also defending himself against new allegations, this time from Julie Swetnick. In a signed statement, she says that Kavanaugh was involved in efforts to spike drinks at parties and then have sex with girls who had, quote, lost her ability to say no. Despite the claims President Trump is siding with his nominee. This is a big con job, and I would love to be in the room with the Democrats, and Schumer and his buddies are all in there laughing how they fooled you all. Meanwhile, Democrats are asking that Kavanaugh nomination be withdrawn. Ford will be the first Kavanaugh accuser to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee, and she will do so separately from Kavanaugh. Arizona prosecutor Ray Rachel Mitchell will be the face of the Republican Party today when she questions Ford and Kavanaugh. Now, the 11 Republican men on the committee are expected to have Mitchell do most, if not all of the questioning on their behalf. Democrats are expected to ask their own questions. CBS 2 News will be covering this morning's hearings as well as talking to a reporter on Capitol Hill. The hearing is scheduled for 8 a.m. Mountain Time and will conclude around 3 in the afternoon. We will be televising the hearing in its entirety so our regularly scheduled programming might be interrupted. Reporting live in the studio, Sophie Dumani, CBS 2 News. And just into our live desk, we actually got our hands on some of the statements that we're expecting to hear this morning. In fact, let's bring that up for them right now. Uh, sorry, this text is a little bit small for you guys, but I am going to be paraphrasing what exactly this is saying. This is the first one uh, from Dr. Ford. She says that, quote, Brett was very drunk during the situation and believed for a moment that he was, quote, going to rape her. She also alleges that he put his hand over her mouth to muffle her screams. And then she says here in this testimony that she was frightened that he was accidentally going to kill her by doing that. This next one that I've just moved over to, this is uh, the Kavanaugh statement that he is expected to read. He says that these accusations are, quote, last minute smears and a grotesque and obvious character assassination. Now, he's also saying that he was not perfect in high school, admitting to drinking beer with his friends, and he did, quote, do things that make him cringe today. However, he says here in this statement that he, quote, never did anything remotely resembling what Dr. Ford is describing.